everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we are working on Elegance, and this is page one for Elegance. Page one and page 12 are going to be the same. I'm going to be repeating um, some of the pages. I'm trying to keep this relatively simple since I've added two extra pages. I don't want it to get uh, too bulky. And then also there's a lot of complexity in building the box itself. So uh, here we go. So you're gonna need a belly band that is four and a quarter by seven, four and a quarter by seven. On the seven inch side, you're gonna score a half inch on the top and bottom, and it's gonna get laid down in the center. And then you're gonna need two flaps that are four and a quarter by six. Four and a quarter by six. On the four and a quarter inch side, you're gonna score a half inch. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and get started. We are going to center the belly band on the page. And let me get my pick tool and huh oh I must have left my other ruler in the other room so we know that this is eight inches so four inches is our midpoint so we're going to put a little tick mark on four inches it's gonna be a little bit harder to find the center here since it's four and a quarter but it should be two and one eighth should be the center there, we, there it is. Okay, so I'm just going to line up these two uh, center points and lay this flat down. And first, I'm going to dry fit it and make sure it's not going to hang off the page. And it does not. Okay. There we go. Now we're going to have a left and right flap on top of the belly band. So it's going to open out like that, and then we're going to have an insert here. So right now, just dry fitting it, make sure it's not going to hang off the edge of the page. And I actually need to take a tiny bit off. So let's see if that does it. Yes, it does. Oh, I need to make sure that it's the, let me get a contrast sheet so you guys can see what I'm doing on the edges. So let's cut this in half real quick. Okay, so I'm going to just add this to either side of the belly band. So I'm right now making sure up and down that it's, that it fits, but I'm also making sure that left to right it fits. And it's not uh, too short or too long, really wide or wide, too wide. Or... Okay. And I can see, even though I looked at it visually, I think it's a little bit too wide. It is. Okay. Four and a quarter. Yeah, it was just a little bit too wide. There we go. So there's one. Now the other one I want to fit on the inside. So I'm going to lay it down and I'm going to I'm going to trim a little off. So this is for I want it to completely close and not get hung up here. And that is going to do the trick. Four and one eighth. Okay. And we're just going to apply it to the opposite side of the belly band. First, I'm going to make sure that the height is just right. It looks like I need to take a little off. Okay, 
Looks good. There we go. Okay, so that's page one. Uh, the last thing is we're gonna add a couple magnets to hold everything in place. left right and then we're going to have an insert and let's see the insert is going to be I think I'm going to do five by seven let's see how that looks And that'll go straight in there. So five by seven is the insert. I should write that down. And you can go a little larger if you want to. It's just a standard photo size, so I think five by seven is good. Okay, so now we are done. Um, next time uh, I wanna pause, get my paper lined up, and then we will decorate this. Hey everyone. Okay, let's get going. We've got, this is page one. And I've got my papers mapped out and I'm pretty happy with the way this looks. So let's go ahead and get started with the five by seven uh, insert for the belly band. Let's get it glued down and then we'll go back and work some more on that. I'm gonna show you something I did for the under piece so that I didn't have to use a whole um, six by eight piece of the um, paper. I actually put a piece of black paper in the middle and I'll show that to you and how I did it. Whoops, you know what? I did not ink this. Eek, I got in here without my ink, be right back. Sorry about that. Um, so if you're new to the channel, um, I do use ink on my edges, just enough to to knock off the white core. I don't generally distress into my page. I think it looks fine, but um, this is already sort of antique looking, so I don't distress in, I just knock off the white core. And you can see the difference. Um, pretty quickly, especially when you have paper that has lots of dark print on it. All right, sorry about that interruption. All right that into place we'll set that aside I may cover the back of that it's really going to depend we're only on page one so it's going to depend on how much paper I have uh, toward the end of the project okay this is going to go on the a side I'm going to use my contrast paper so I can see the edges of my flap this one I did trim and in ink so we're set it is directional so pay attention and so is the back yeah okay I just want to make sure I have this right side up and I do. I'm gonna actually move all my other papers because they're too bulky. There we go. That makes it nice and flat, easy to work with. Okay. This is a very elegant collection. It's very aptly named. Um, it's very pretty. This is gonna, when this project's done, it's gonna be a very easy project to display um sort of as a decor piece too since it is a box i think it's really pretty okay there we go okay now the next thing i want to do i'm gonna go ahead and close that is i'm going to show you what i did here so i didn't want to use a whole uh eight by six piece of the striped paper so to preserve some of my paper since it's not going to show underneath the belly band i just took what is uh, a two inch band on either side and then put some black paper. I just butted it right up to it and then um, taped it together 
and I'm going to slide it in and you'll see when it's in that um, you can't even see um, this slice here and so we saved at least enough uh, of this striped paper to do a flap someplace else. Okay, now my plan is to slide it in. I have to think about what I want to do. Slide it in, slide it past, and then pull the tape off and pull it back into place. It's going to be a little bit of a challenge uh, because the way the location of the tape, but we can do it. We can do it. So I'm going to pull it off, and I'm going to get some glue on the back of this, and then slide it into place. And then on the flip side, I am going to um, use my pick tool to reach in and grab the backing on the tape. And because it's sliding all the way through, you don't have to really worry about it lifting in the middle. I'll just get my finger off the tape. There we go. Yikes, it went down sooner than I wanted it to. There we go. I got a little bit of excess glue here. That looks good. All right. Sorry about that. That's my dog. Being protective. I swear she sounds a lot meaner than she is. Okay, so that's in. So now I'm going to use this tool to help me pull off the tape that's inside here. And it's easy to reach. There we go some glue. So the other reason I do this is, shh, Nala, is um, when you're sliding stuff in and out, if you have these two pieces and nothing in the middle, it's going to get hung on the transition. So now that it's all one on one plane, when we slide something through, it's not going to get hung up on the edge of this paper. That's why I didn't just do two inch strips. Okay, isn't it looking pretty? Okay, that's done. Okay, now we can start working on the inside. So let's go ahead and do the inside layout. Here's what I've planned. Now these two panels are not exactly the same size. So make sure you don't mix up your, um, your trimmed out pieces. They are an eighth of an inch different. Patterns and Solids, sorry, I forgot to mention that. So this is from the Patterns and Solid, Solids pack. So is this, this whole centerpiece is all from Patterns and Solids. And I'll go back and tell you what is on the front in just a second. <clears throat> nice and pretty. So these are about four by six. This is a little bit bigger than four, four and one eighth, four and a quarter, four by six. So you can get three four by six photos here. This is from the 8x8 collection pack. This is Patterns and Solids. These two stripes are from the 8x8 uh, collection pack, which is basically 
I trimmed this down to fit. What was left over was this. Um, it was one piece and I split it in half and spread it across the two. So you use one eight by eight, that's the front or back and front. Um, and then this is patterns and solids and then patterns and solids inside. Lovely, lovely, that's it. That's it for page one, it went pretty quick, right? Okay, I'll be back soon and we'll finish working on page two.